there are a few ways that gearboxes leak. One is it's overfilled, where they fill it past the seals. Then it'll leak out and seek its own level. Another way is slinging of the oil, and it hits the sides of the gearbox and goes down and out the seals if the seals are ruptured. And this is a way that our oil will be advantageous. Now, regular gearboxes, this would look like your regular gearbox. Okay. Right now, as you can see, if I will turn it, the gear oil is slinging to the sides and our gear oil is not slinging to the sides. I can't really show that to you, but it's right there on the, it's right up to there and theirs is all the way up to the top of the gearbox. Now, you have this, the normal everyday speed of a gearbox. Now, let's just say a catastrophic failure happens and you lose all your oil. Okay. Excuse me, let me get this side. No, I'm on the wrong side. I'll, I'll try this side, there you go. All right, now, if you, whenever you have a catastrophic failure, of, of course your, gear oil, uh, your gears are gonna start going quicker because there's nothing to, nothing to hold them down. And they'll keep on revving like that for a while. But this gives you enough time to know you have a catastrophic failure and shut the thing down so you can fix it. This, on the other hand, within a few minutes, that gearbox will be basically burn up. It'll burn up the gearing. Now, slow it down to stop. You can still see gear oil on our gearbox side, and there is hardly no any on that side. 